Hi everyone, I'm just doing a quick video now <coughs> to show you the stuff that I got from Mr. Leon's Lockpad. Leon, um, thanks very much for sending me some stuff here. I got the package sheds today. It's been very busy today, uh, but anyways, here it is. Um, so yeah, the first lock he has sent is a challenge lock, I think it is. It's got this CCCC on there, and it's called Dead Spool. So thank you very much for that. Uh, it's a five pinner. Um, uh, next one is this Yale. You can see that there. And that's a five pinner. Uh, next one is I think it's a challenge lock, but the name has kind of gone from there. It's, um didn't have a name on it. But uh, it's a five pinner. And next one is an oval cylinder. It's a union. It's a six six pinner. And um, yeah, I haven't picked an oval on my channel yet anyway. No. And a union would be a good one to pick, alright. So thank you. Um I also got this rim cylinder, it's a Yale, and it's a 5 pinner, very nice, and he sent me a Texas Gym um, challenge lock, I never picked a Texas Gym before, so you can see it's a Texas Gym on the side. So that should be interesting. I know Texas Gym makes interesting challenge locks as well. Uh, and then I got this one. First I thought it was uh, you know, kind of a standard padlock but then I realized it has this dipped coat, plastic coating on the outside and I realized it's actually a challenge lock that Leon has I think re-pinned to make it into a challenge lock because he's yeah, it should be interesting. Never had a padlock challenge lock before, so it should be cool. Um, then I got a Caesar dimple. Just look at that keyway. That is uh, intimidating. So yeah, that's uh, don't know how many pins is in that, but it uh, looks hard. Um, then I got this. Um, this it just says needs a shim or shoeing shoeing pole pinning shoe maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a Iseo, and the other side's empty. But uh, yeah, I know how to how to pick this, so we'll see what this is like. Looks cool. Oh, I've picked a. A um, Isaiah sta standard lock before, and then um, I got a lock off eBay that I asked if I could send it to him because I only wanted to send it to uh, the UK and not to where I am. So uh, and that is a, another CSA. It's this one here. It's the box for it, and uh, the lock itself is this one. Uh, CSA two. 8575 and it's got that QA in there. I believe you can disassemble this, take the core out, which I learned the technique from Lock Picking Lawyer. So I look forward to trying trying that out and seeing what's inside. Um and yeah here's the key for that one. That looks interesting. I just want to show you the keys quickly. This is a Leon's lock, lock pad lock and it's a Yale. Notice how he puts that um, plastic coating on I think his challenge locks and it's mummied. I'm not sure which key, which one that's for. I think it's uh, the rim cylinder maybe. And you've got this WMS which I think 
No, it's not that one. Uh, well, anyway, I think that's one of his challenge locks. It's called the Lucky One. Yeah, Leon's Lock Pad, see? And uh, Leon's Lock Pad is that one, See No Evil. Then uh, got the. What's this one? Oh, yeah, this is a, one of his as well. Dead Spool. And you can see it's got like a dead dead pool face on it. So uh, and then the rest of these keys are for the RST. That's Crispy Bear. It's one from something from Crispy Bear here. Uh, the deep. Don't know which one that is. I think it's this I think it's the uh, Union. Um, got this key here for something. Not sure. And then this must be for that padlock. Um, yeah, that's for the padlock. Cool. cool. Um, in the in the next part of this video, I will pick up in um, one of these locks. So stick around. All right. So I'm going to try and do a pick resistance test uh, of this. Um, interesting padlock that I was sent from Leon. Um, so we're going to see now how long it takes me to pick this open. So for every 60 seconds I'm not in this lock, uh, you get one point out of ten. If it keeps me up for ten minutes, then it's uh, well very good. <laughs> So uh, let me see now how long it takes. So I'm going to apply light tension and you can start the clock. Full set. It's like a deeper full set now. Um, two. This feels like pin two. Mm. Can I have a look at that deep full set there? That I get. I'll just zoom this in a little bit. So. Um, I can't remember how many pins are in this, so it's got to be at least five. Leon's put some spools in here anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, three, three, Um, I have picked this off camera. Four. Just 
to bind the other pin that's binding now. Oh. Yeah, open. So, uh, I don't know how long that was, but I reckon that it's got to be at least five minutes, so five out of ten, something like that. You give, give or take whatever time it is. So, not, not, not too bad, and it was great fun, especially picking out of a padlock, so Thank you, Liam, for all the locks that you have sent me. Um, I will send the locks on as I go through them, and other people can enjoy them. So thanks again for the trade, and uh, uh, thanks for watching. So see you. Thank you.